Hi, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVean, and my guest today is Bonnie Norlander, the organizer for the Temp to Perm Public Arts Conference. Hi, Bonnie. That's right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you so much for talking with me today about the yeah. conference. Well, let's talk about what it is, first mm -hmm. of all. What is the, this conference? Right, so um, Temp to Perm is basically um, the name of it is alluding to the fact that there is temporary art in this town mm -hmm. and there's permanent art in this town and the conference itself is an investigation of both the opportunities for artists to um, be commissioned for public artworks as well as do community building with public art and also for administrators to do some professional development. So, Really, anyone interested in um, public art in Portland or Greater Maine is very much welcome. And you've got quite a l lineup of people doing the workshops and speaking. Do you want to just mention a few of, of the uh, artists or yeah. community members who are involved? Sure. Um, well, uh, I was meeting just this morning with um, Elizabeth from Space Gallery, and she is going to be doing a workshop uh, really getting into the details of the Kindling Fund, which will be a great opportunity for artists to learn what exactly it takes to access that opportunity. And I think that'll be a really informative session. Um, we'll also have um, a breakout session at Creative Portland, and that will be sort of a way to share both what you might be able to offer that community of public artists um, or um, as an artist, what you need to accomplish your projects. And so it's a little give and take yeah. opportunity. Um, in terms of presenters, we have a full morning schedule of uh, local experts related to public art, and that's both administrators and artists. And then at the end of the day, we'll have a panel of people discussing different projects around town and we'll have a closing speaker who is not from Maine, um, but she has some great lessons for us about strategically engaging with diverse communities and diverse um, representation. Um, so uh, I think we'll have some great lessons from her. Uh, that, sound, that sounds actually fascinating. Yeah. Because Portland has become a much more diverse city mm -hmm. and to bring that wonderful new energy into this public art is just very exciting. Absolutely, and that was really the inspiration for this event in general. Mm -hmm. um, I am fairly new to Maine, and when I came here, I came with an interest in public art and, um, and was curious what was happening here, and what I learned was there was a lot of excitement for art in the community, um, well, actually multiple communities around Portland and throughout Maine, and that this energy was also happening and this excitement was happening as a lot of changes were actually happening, um, whether it's new leadership at different arts organizations or new ideas or even new Mainers. And it felt like an opportunity to really do some professional development um, and look at other examples um, nationally, internationally, mm -hmm. as well as really see what's happening here and how can we make it better. Right. So. And it has, it's just taken on really in the last few years. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there has been some public art mm -hmm. um, for a long time, mm -hmm. but it hasn't seemed to have grown. And all of a mm -hmm. sudden we're seeing public art pop up everywhere and now mm -hmm. when people are planning reconfigurations of neighborhoods and streets, that's part of the, the consideration. Absolutely, and one organization I can mention, which is a new organization, is Tempo Art, mm -hmm. and they're on that temporary end of public art where they're offering opportunities for people to make timely artworks and exhibit them around town. And I think that's great because it keeps 
um, the public space vibrant. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, I love permanent sculptural work yeah. uh, and monuments, and we definitely have to take care of those. But um, keeping new, fresh artwork in the community is also a great asset. Well, and it keeps everyone wondering what's going to be next, you know? Exactly. And, and, and let them know that this is just temporary, so you have to embrace it and love it while it's here mm -hmm. and get ready to let go of it, too, as it moves on. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, I, uh, if I may, I, I think it's also something that really is, um, when I say public art, I don't mean just art that's in a public space, but it, it also tends to be funded with public money. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes people have an opinion about how that uh, might go. And I think what's important to understand is public art is for the local community. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a gift to the local community uh, to make this a space that they want to be in and want to live in. And so mm -hmm. I hope that people can embrace that as something that's for them. And they'll be able to come to this conference on June 3rd. How do they find out more about it? Absolutely. Um, so all of the information is on our website, mm -hmm. which is temp to perm.me mm -hmm. for Maine. Mm -hmm. And um, you can find out information there. You can also follow us on Facebook. Uh -huh. But all of the details are there. Tickets are available online. Right. And the full schedule of speakers is listed right. there as well. And it will be held at Mecca and yes. um, Creative Portland and maybe some other breakout places around Yeah, we'll city. meet in, at Mecca, okay. um, and the bulk of the programming is there. We'll have a breakout session uh, on Free Street just behind Mecca at mm -hmm. Creative Portland, and it'll be followed by a private event at Space Gallery. So. It sounds wonderful, and I hope you know people better get their tickets soon because I think it's going to be a sellout. Thank you for being here to tell us about it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I uh, am really excited about it myself, and um, this is something that is really a one-time thing. Um, it's not an ongoing program, so I hope people do join and really yeah. get something Be out of it. Be part of the dialogue. Thank, Thank you. Great. Thank you.